sweepies, it's the sweetest vegan here. Today on the show, we'll be continuing our butternut squash series with butternut squash soup. It is warm, it is light, it is inviting, it is sweet, it's almost a dessert, but it's really, really healthy. So let's get started on the recipe. We're going to start this recipe by heating up coconut oil in a large pot over low heat. Add in chopped onions and let them saute until they are translucent for about 5 to 10 minutes. While they're doing that, we're going to go ahead and prepare our butternut squash. Today I'm using a potato peeler instead of a knife, even though I think I prefer the knife because I felt like I had more control over peeling the skin because it's still a tough skin. My second tip of the day is putting a damp towel underneath your cutting board. I didn't do this today, but somebody left a comment yesterday saying that that would give me more control over the cutting board, and boy do you need it, because this is a tough squash to cut, so just keep your fingers out of the way and do the best you can possibly do to cut the butternut squash into one inch square chunks. Once you've cut it open, you'll find a surprise down in the bulb of the squash. It's full of strings and seeds just like a pumpkin is. I'm going to scoop those out, put them in a separate dish, and refrigerate them for tomorrow. Add your chunks of butternut squash to the pot with the onions, and then add in your liquids. I'm adding in almond milk, and then I'm just going to fill it up with water until the squash is covered. You don't want it to spill out like mine is about to do, so use a larger pot. Bring your soup up to a boil, and once you have the boil established and everything is rolling, bring it down to a simmer and cover for about 30 minutes. Now we're going to transfer the butternut squash to the blender, as well as some of the liquids to make sure everything mixes nicely. Now you're going to blend for about 5 minutes. It's going to take a while to get everything down to those blades and have it all liquefied, yet be smooth and all one consistency. And while the butternut squash was blending, I decided to boil the liquids that were left in the pot to reduce them to a sauce. Why? Because we're going to add the butternut squash back to the pot once we're done blending them. So we're going to stir it all back together and season them with salt, pepper, cinnamon, and nutmeg or whatever you choose. But I thought that since it kind of has a sweet potato, pumpkin-y undertone that it would be nice to add in those cinnamon nutmeg flavors. My sister said that it looked like baby food and that is true. It's a puree slash soup slash baby food but it will be good for anybody of all ages. You can leave it a little bit chunkier if you want a little bit chunkier. You can thin it out if you want to. It's very versatile. I love this recipe. It was delicious. It tastes like everything that squash needs to make it taste edible. I would probably actually put this in a pie crust, chill it down, um, maybe add in some vegan cream cheese and make like a squash pie. This sounds really delicious for Thanksgiving. New idea. <laughs> That's it for today. Bye. <laughs> and I don't want the potato pillar to just go awry and slice off my finger or anything. That's gross.